Level 10. Field of Wheat Survival Difficulty Class 1, Safe, Secure, Minimal Entity Count. Level 10 is the 11th level of the backrooms. This level seems to be an infinite weak field. Description. Level 10 is a weak field that seems to be infinite in size. A large unpaved dirt path heading north and south is also present. The wheat in the fields is safe for use and consumption. Pockets of almond water can be found all around the wheat fields, which has a sweet taste. The time of day in level 10 is always around noon. The sky is very cloudy, and rain may occur rarely. When walking down the path you will not only find wheat fields, but strange objects and buildings in the distance. The first buildings you can encounter are barns and stables. These buildings are usually empty, but are fully explorable. The contents of the barns vary, but hey, animal fur and animal noises are present throughout the barns and stables. The objects you can find include tractors, farming utilities, etc. Small houses can be found around level 10. These houses seem to be built around the early 1980s, and are quite empty as resources are scarce. Do not enter the houses, as an event will occur where a sobbing can be heard emanating from the house and those present inside will disappear. These houses however do possess a chance to bring you to some levels like level 9 and level 7, although this is unconfirmed. In one fairly large area of level 10, a town can be found. This town seems to have been built in the 1980s around the same time period as the houses. The buildings are full of various items, unlike the more modern houses nearby. This town includes shops, apartments, houses, etc. This town is home to a colony living inside of it that decided to make the town their home, see colonies and outposts. It is completely safe to explore and live in. Entities to have a chance to spawn in some buildings, but this is very rare. These entities range from smilers, skin stealers, death rats, hounds and hostile face healings. There had been reports of wranglers beneath the surface of level 10. There are also reports of camel crawlers. There are in fact two special entities that may appear in level 10, they are as follows. The first special entity can be found in towers around a level, they are made of stone, and seem to have been built around the medieval era. These towers are safe to traverse around, and to explore when not occupied. These castle towers are lit up with torches, and a black charcoal-like substance paints the roof of the towers on the inside. The towers include some furniture, usually associated with the early 1600s. During an event that may occur, loud trumpet sounds will play throughout level 10 for a few minutes. After this occurs, entities known as the archers will appear in groups and scout the level. These entities claim these towers are their territory. The archers don't seem to interrupt the town and usually ignore it. It is advised to keep away from the archers as you may get shot with an arrow. Once you hear the trumpets for a second time, that indicates the archers are gone. The second special entity is known as the glyph. These entities are large obese creatures that walk among the fields. Glyphs are there to grow the crops as their body emits drops of sweet almond water, which explains the strange puddles found in the fields. These entities are very friendly, and like to play around in the fields. Their movements are very slow and graceful, and their bodies fall slowly, as if they are a balloon. Glyphs tend to eat wheat in the fields that they grow. These entities are useful for growing and harvesting crops. Colonies and outposts since the discovery of level 10 many groups have been formed in this level. The most prominent of these settlements are listed below. The BMTG Level 10 Resource Station. This outpost was formed by the BMTG to harvest wheat for bakery usage. This outpost holds around 23 people all working together. They also gather other useful resources such as the previously mentioned almond water. They transfer the items from level 10 to level 1 via an exit to said level cartographer's station Tertium. Calculated population of this station is upwards of 3,000 serves as one of the cartographer's main sources of food, with most resources here dedicated to farming and baking open to trading food for weapons or medicine entry is barred at this outpost to any members of the BMTG Mall Town. This colony is made up of several wanderers who seek shelter in level 10. They are very friendly and open to trade. They are guarded by the BMTG group nearby housekeepers. This group is mysterious and resides within the houses of level 10. They have apparently discovered vital information within the houses and are unwilling to share it. The amount of members are unknown discovery. During an expedition near the end of 2015, a group in level 5 had discovered a camera next to a puddle of a mysterious dried substance. The camera had many photos of level 10 including the image shown above. Next to the camera was a small collection of notes from a wanderer, presumably the camera's owner. The following is a series of transcriptions from these notes. I've been walking for maybe six days and there's nothing but this dirt road and the field surrounding it. I tried going off route and I got put back on the path. 
tress almond water in the fields, it tastes sweet I've been hearing trumpets and roaring in the distance and I saw something in the fog. I snapped a photo of it, I can't identify it right now if you hear someone yell fire. Go back to the path immediately. Someone just shot a fucking arrow at my shoulder and I'm still bleeding. I think I saw a tower in the distance and somebody on top with about everything is calm. It is silent. She saved me. An angel appeared in the sky, trumpet in hand. If you find yourself in level 10, stay in one spot. She will find you faster that way it seems that this wanderer lived and came from the hub and entered level 10 from there. The wanderer experienced many encounters with native entities such as the archers and glyphs. Whether the she mentioned within the notes is the same being as the she mentioned in level 1.5 is unconfirmed. The fate of this wanderer is unknown. Entrances and Exits Entrances To enter, walking off a path into the fields when in level 9 will lead to level 10. Climbing a chain link fence in level 10 will lead to level 205. Following the procedures in level 12 and entering the door has a chance to lead to level 10. Jumping out of the train in level 61 while outside and moving will lead to level 10, this is dangerous and not advised. Entering one of the holes in the maze of level 51 will lead to this level. Eating a food similar to green beans in level 226 will also lead to level 10. Exits. To exit, bunkers rarely present in weak fields may lead to level 1, level 2, level 3 or level 14. Reports state some of the houses led to level 0, level 5, level 7 or level 9, but it is unknown exactly how this transport is achieved. Toppling a scarecrow within level 10 will lead to level 807. Finding and following a ditch in level 10 for a few hours will lead to level minus 7. Finding a swamp area in level 10 will lead to level 66. While wandering through that fields aimlessly it's possible to find a blue patch of wheat with a clown scarecrow directly in the middle of this patch, plucking one of these strands of wheat will delay part to level 283.